at quarterback. Gets the ball out quickly, and it's a drop by Odell Beckham Jr. What did you say about ball out? Well, that was what they were going to do. We we're going to have the ball out mentality, knowing that the offensive line wasn't going to be able to protect very well. And their best players have to make those plays when you're open like that, quick throws. Odell's a star. He has got to make that play to start the game. So Gallman remains the back here on third and eight. Eli able to stay alive to the end zone and touchdown OBJ. Odell Beckham Jr. with his third touchdown catch of the season. Really good job by Eli just staying alive, keeping the play. Offensive linemen are fighting. And believe it or not, believe it or not, Tess, that's their first touchdown in the first half. In the last three games, they've gone without that for Odell just to stay alive. Good awareness just to find that soft spot. And Eli was able to find him. And the offensive line gave him time. That was key. Interception by Goodson and then the touchdown. Magnificent Levi's Stadium. And you think he's having a good time after a touchdown catch? <laughs> well, he's excited to get going here. He had the drop early, but he's responded the right way. He understands, like, look, I, I know I'm going to get a lot of targets, but you got to make plays at critical times. He's coming in there. He just has the hook to get in the end zone. And then he gets it to say, okay, I'm going to stay alive. Eli has time and he finds him. You know, we talked about their skilled players. If Eli just has time, he has a really, really good group. And the offensive line, giving him time. Nate Solder inside. Hernandez, when you can give Eli Manning time, he can deliver the football over the linebacker in front of the. They need out of it. There's Manning as he gets it complete to Beckham. And that's a matchup I was excited to see. Odell Beckham on Richard Sherman. That was just an outcut. Going on that with the seeing it to push it vertical. Sherman's going to play off and outside, turning his hips. And Odell Beckham getting out of the cut, the transition at the top of the route. He said he worked on that this all season. He went back to South Carolina or Southern California. Odell Beckham and uh, Richard Sherman have only faced each other one time before. Beckham's rookie season, week 10, when the Giants faced the Seahawks in Seattle. It was only Beckham's fifth game as a pro. He missed time earlier in the season due to injury. So Sherman said there wasn't a lot of tape on him. But Richard told us after that game, he made a note to himself. This kid, you got to watch him. Beckham had seven catches for 108 yards that day. The Seahawks won the game, but Sherman said Odell definitely got his attack. Good to you for now. Third down and 10. Manning lofts it to the end zone, and a flag comes in as Sherman is going to be tagged here. Well, they brought an all-out pressure there. And he there were two fouls by the defense on the play. Illegal contact, number 23. That penalty's declined. Pass interference, number 25. That foul will be enforced at the spot of the foul. First down. First pass interference against Richard Sherman this year. Well, they knew they had man coverage. They allowed him to go in there, just holding on. He tried to keep it in tight. Eli sees that they're bringing the two linebackers inside. He liked the matchup, took advantage of it, really got that call made because he threw it up, trusting him in that situation. So, man, I tell you, I didn't see much there. We productive tonight as a kick returner. He's got Odell. Wide open is Beckham Jr. The play action passes. They've given him time. Eli's tried to do that earlier in the year, but his protection didn't hold up. Now he's doing it, staying in the pocket, throwing him open. And these two connecting. Having that matchup, the stem of the route. Odell sees it. He knows that he can give him a nice angle. So Eli feels like he's protected. Second and seven. Oh! Almost took a stab at it with that left hand. Just to even make that effort, Odell Beckham Jr. Odell Beckham Jr. makes a miss. Looks spectacular. Sure does. We've seen him make the one-handed catches before. He has it for a second. Nice throw by Eli Manning, only where his guy can get to it. And Beckham almost with an amazing and catch. And Witherspoon had it, played him pretty good. And there's nothing you can do in that situation. I mean... I was watching Odell in warm-ups, making like catches like this every other time. It's like Steph Curry shooting three-pointers pregame.
I mean, you're going to see things you don't believe when you watch these guys. In midair, it looked like he had no chance to even touch it. Now a third and seven. The 49ers Man, been in the good. three down front. Here come the blitz. He's going to it again. Why not? That was a little easier, wasn't it? Odell Beckham Jr. Dance, dance, dance. You see Witherspoon, he was not happy. Thought he had some help on that play. They actually doubled Ingram inside. Witherspoon said, we don't need to double him. And good release. Getting on the edge, getting vertical. He knew he wanted the line of scrimmage, and he wanted that football. Eli Manning said, I see it too. I'm coming to you. You know, it's almost as if Witherspoon was looking for help because he got in a trail position, and then he turned around and looked at his fellow teammates like, hey, where was somebody at? Odell's second touchdown of the night on Monday Night Football. Where Eli and Odell just connected for the 42nd time for a score. So look at those career numbers of that combination. 20 yard touchdown pass. Manning to Beckham Jr. And it's back to a three point margin here on Monday Night Football. Joe Tessitore, Jason Witten, Booger McFarlane, Lisa Salters at Levi's Stadium. Glad you're with us as we finish off week number 10, a week that has seen the Saints climb to boy, new levels with their beat down of the Bengals, 51 to 14, and has set up the Rams. That touchdown throw there, the San Francisco defense had a miscommunication. You see X on the free safety is looking over at Jimmy. Ward saying, hey, get back. We're playing too, too high safety look in this situation, which would have played out like a double team on Odell. See them throwing their hands up. Witherspoon thought he had help. He's like, what's going on? I thought I had the safety in there behind me. But you cannot miscommunicate and have those miscues at that part of the field. That's a big reason why they're two and seven. Look they're going to have more. Third down and three. Complete off the hands of Odell Beckham Jr. Well, Odell Beckham fell on that route and it was open. They're playing a soft zone there that they're known for in San Francisco. Richard Sherman's playing off. He's thinking he's got a hook player coming underneath. And Warner just doesn't get there quick enough, but Odell liked to have that one back because he'd certainly have an opportunity to score another touchdown if he could have kept. Pressure in his face and it's incomplete. That was Eric Armstead who was collapsing on Eli Manning. Yeah, yeah, and they were coming in there with a little bit of pressure in the inside. And then they go, they say, okay, he's going to drop and come. And when they do that in those situations, they end up dropping both of them. He's got to hook up right there. There's a soft spot in that zone. Warner's behind him. And if he does that, it gives a place for Eli to throw that ball. I like that Bill Walsh drive street sign that they put down there in the workshop. Manning wants to take a shot and waiting for it is Odell Beckham Jr. And he need to throw it deeper. He had him wide open. They went on the double move. Just a stutter and go. And Eli, Eli tried to throw it as far as he could in that situation. Quick play action fake. Odell faked it out real quick on the double move. Wow, did he get past Witherspoon. Just under threw it. Warden Witherspoon played catch up. He had them both, Joe. That pass defended that time by Richard Sherman and Malcolm Smith. He's trying to stick it in there to back him on the quick slant. Understanding that it's zone coverage. There's a hole right there. We give Richard Sherman credit. He knows the routes, awareness, and he drives on those balls. And it's closing time for the 49er defense. John Lynch played with the Buccaneers when I was there. And he's like that. Oh, he's got throw. Space. Here's Beckham Jr. Can he get to that edge? Flag is down. And it's down back at the 45. Holding. Offense number 78. 10 yard penalty. Replay. Downfield again. He almost hit the back of Witherspoon. And there's the flag that comes in as Beckham gave the look. Witherspoon's pleading his case, but the flag is there. And the Giants are going to grab all of it.
From John Lynch, the GM. Pass interference. Defense number 35. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Well, he's got him good. He turns. He's riding him outside. I don't know. What a yo-yo of a drive this is with the penalties. Back and forth. Yeah, I think he didn't turn around. You know, he's, he, the ref said 35, but it was against 23 right there. Witherspoon has to turn around. It's one of the pet peeves for defensive backs. If you just turn around, put yourself in position like you're going for the ball. All right, young Nick Mullins, what do you got? Last play to the end zone. Does he have it? Threw it too far, and the Giants. Wait a minute. Oh, we I, got a I, flag. I think we have a flag, guys. We got a flag back at the 31. Holding by the offense. That penalty is declined. The game is over. Mullins.